Hey everybody, it's Lisa. So I am back uh, with an Invisalign update. Today is February 7th, um, I think. February 6th, I'm sorry. I knew I was doing this today for a reason. So I got my Invisalign on, um, on my teeth on December 6th. So it has uh, officially been two months today that I have been going through treatment. Um, and I wanted to give you guys a really quick update. I promise I won't make this too long. Um, so I saw my, uh, orthodontist on January 17th. Um, at that appointment, when I walked in, I obviously had my aligners in my mouth. For this video, I do not because I really want you guys to be able to see the progress. Um, and it's a lot easier to really see what's going on with the aligners out of my mouth. Um, and I have lunch cooking, so I figured I would just do it now while they're out. Um, so I walked in and the first thing that he did was looked at my teeth with my aligners in to get an idea of, um, what they looked like if they were tracking. And it made me feel really good because he took one look in my mouth and he was like, wow, it really looks like you're sticking to the plan. Exactly. Like we talked about, um, Again, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything like that, but I have said in previous videos, I'm dedicated to this. I really want the best possible outcome that I can get. Um, so I was worried about this tooth right here not tracking for like a try or two because there was a slight gap between the tooth and the tray. Um, but it rectified itself after, um, I think for trees, I want to say it was either three and four or four and five. I noticed like a tiny gap in this tooth right here. Um, but again, uh, every single time I put the trees in, I bite down on the chewies, which I showed you in a previous video. I think that really helped. And I also have a tendency to, when I have the trees in, um, clenched down really hard like I like I don't want to do it now but like bite down with my teeth with the trays in which um I mentioned to him and he said that it's fine as long as I'm not grinding my teeth back and forth because that could wear away at the trees but um I have a tendency to grind and clench my jaw really hard when I'm sleeping at night and at the beginning of this journey I mentioned that to him and he said that one of the really cool things about the trays in people that have, I think it's called Brexism, which is where you grind slash um, clench your jaw really tight in your sleep, is that they double up, the trays double up as a mouth guard, essentially. So again, just a quick recap, um, I change my trays every 10 days and I am now currently on tray seven as of this past Friday. So, um, before I show you what's going on in my mouth, um, the other, oh, it wasn't really even really an issue. It kind of was, but he rectified it. Um, from the time that I got my Invisalign on and the attachments and all that until, which was December 6th of 2022, until uh my first follow-up appointment which was january 17th i think i said of 2023 i had a total of 20 attachments on the day i got them on and at my next appointment six of them had fallen off and i called the office i think three times um and i did tell them that i think it was three of the attachments that fell off were in the very back upper molars two on this side and i think one on this side or vice versa it doesn't really matter three of the one of the other ones that fell off were on what he called important teeth so he basically said that the ones that were on my upper back molars were more there for anchors than they were to pull the teeth into the position that they needed to be in or to help them shift correctly um, or whatnot. So at my last appointment, he put on three of the six attachments that had previously fallen off. Now, this is another important thing I didn't know and I wanted to tell you guys. When I first got the trays on, and again, I mentioned this in a previous video, I could not, for the life of me, for probably about a week to two weeks, 
get the trays out. Um, I tried using my nail and it would eventually come out, but I broke my nail to the point where I couldn't even use it anymore. So a friend of mine gave me the ortho key, um, orthodontic key, whatever you want to call it. You can get it on Amazon. They, it is an absolute lifesaver. What I was doing wrong, um, and they did tell me this when I got my Invisalign on, is that they want you to, whether you're using your finger to get them out or the key, they want you to pull them out from the back, meaning here and here. Yeah. And what I didn't know is that a big part of the reason for that is because pulling them out from the front can cause the attachments to fall off easier. And um, in, for, for the top trays, once those attachments fell off, the trays were not falling out of my mouth. They told me that, that if that started to happen, then I would need to go in and get seen like immediately. However, because two of the attack, it was this side that two of the ones on my molar fell off because they had fallen off. I was able to stick my finger in like this from the front, like I shouldn't have done and like pop it out and then pull it from there. Um, he did, I did not know that pulling them out from the front can cause the attachments to fall off easier. So since I went back and got the three necessary attachments put back on, I have not had any issues. None of the attachments have fallen off. So from now until, as far as I know, at least for the remainder of my first initial set of 23 trees, I will have a total of 17 attachments on my teeth instead of 20, the, the original 20. Again, the three that were on my back molars were more uh, as used as anchors, as he said, and not necessary for um, the movement of my teeth. So now I'm just going to show you, and I can see notice very noticeable progress, especially in my bottom teeth. There, ha there's absolutely movement in my top teeth. It's just not as noticeable as the bottoms, I think, because the crowding's so bad, especially in the front too. But I'm going to give you guys a look at what we're dealing with. Again, this is exactly two months in. I got them on December 6th. Today is February 6th, and that's why I decided to do this video today. So here's my regular smile, and you can go back in previous videos if you didn't see it before. Kind of zoom in. Um, it's very obvious to me, especially this tooth. Um is not nearly as overlapping this one as it was before. Now, same thing with this one, but this crowding was worse. So you can still see that it's overlapping. They're both overlapping a little bit, but this one's worse. And I don't know if you can see what I can see because it's on a video, but if you look right here, like right here on it, really try and get it in there. There is plaque buildup that, um, you, and again, my teeth are very clean. I, I floss every single time I take my trays out to eat. I brush every single time. Um, I clean my trays the way that I'm supposed to. They are never out for longer than two hours a day. I think I might have messed that up maybe three times, one being on Christmas, but it's never exceeded three hours ever. Um, so, and I brought that up to my orthodontist when I was there and I said, I'm assuming that this noticeable spot right here, again, you can probably see it, that this is the attachment, so ignore that right here, is because this tooth was overlapping this tooth so badly in the past. And this is exactly what he confirmed what I thought that no dental hygienist, dentist, whatever, over the course of my entire life has ever been able to get to that spot to properly clean it. So I have a cleaning, like a regular dental cleaning scheduled for April, I believe. They'll get off what they can there. And then he also reassured me again that at the end of my treatment, he will, any of those spots that appear on my teeth or anything like that, he'll take care of it. He's going to be um, getting rid of these little ridges on my front teeth right here. Uh, this one, there's like a little, a little, you can probably hear it, like a little, I don't know, jagged spot. All that's going to get taken care of. 
Um, I mentioned again in another one of my previous videos, my daughter is very close to the end of getting her braces off. Um, there, she had one, her teeth are, are like straight as pretty much as straight as they're going to get. But she noticed when she pointed it out to me, I saw it that in her mouth, this tooth was like higher up than this tooth. And she said something to it at her last orthodontist appointment and they put like a bench. Again, she has regular braces. They put like a bend in the wire. And this tooth has now come down in her mouth to perfectly align with this one. And I told her, if there's anything about your smile that you're not happy about, tell them. Don't let them fit you for your retainer or anything like that until you are 100% satisfied. Um, so that's, again, it's kind of like a side note. But my orthodontist will be doing the same thing with getting rid of these ridges, evening out my teeth. Um, etc. He did do my orthodontist more IPR at my last appointment. I think it's a little bit more noticeable between my two front teeth this time than it was the last time. If you look, you can kind of see that there's like a, li like it's not a gap to the point where I can stick my finger in it or anything like that, but there is a gap there and it is starting to close as my teeth are shifting. He did it here uh, somewhere over on this side, somewhere over on this side, and then I think a little bit down here. Now, if you look at my bottom teeth, okay, compared to where they were before, they have already made significant amounts of movement. Like, they've moved quite a lot to the point where I literally just noticed this last night. Um, again, I changed trees on Friday. Um right here that's a gap that's not black like a cavity or anything like that that is a gap forming a noticeable noticeable gap right here forming between this tooth and this tooth and again it needs to in order for this one to right here to completely move away from and not and no longer be in front of this one. But all of these teeth, with the exception of this one, from, so from here to here, have pretty much straightened out, except this one right here. It's got a little, a little ways to go. This is my stubborn tooth, as I like to call it, right here. The one that's like shifted back. But again, if you go back and look at my previous videos, there has been a lot of significant movement. My teeth are already looking a lot better than they did in the beginning. Of course, we're not at a straight smile yet. I'm, I didn't expect that. We're seven trays into the initial set of 23, and I was told that I'm going to need refinement. So again, my regular smile, there's, you know, you can still see that the front two are protruding over the ones to the side of it, but it is like way better than it was when I first started. And I'm very happy with the movement so far on the bottom. Again, just one more close up shot. There's also, I just, I, you can see this, a gap right here. Hold on. That wasn't really there before, but again, they're moving and they're doing their thing. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys, show you that the teeth are. I'll give you like a back look. I did this in a previous video. They're no, no, they're not 100% because again, we're seven trays into 23 um, of the initial set. But my teeth are extremely healthy. None of my gums bleed anymore. I remember telling you guys about that um, in the in the very beginning of my journey. I think it was right here every single time that I would floss right here for whatever reason there would be like a tiny amount of blood i don't know if it was because of the crowding or what it was but now there is no blood in my mouth whatsoever when i floss and i really get in there and like i go like not you're not just supposed to go up but you're supposed to go up and then left and then right and even in the back to make sure that you get all those little spots plus the brushing i do not bleed at all so my gums as you can see like
Very healthy. My orthodontist even said that. Down here, same thing. That is uh, a space starting to form. There's little ones. You can see it like down here. Like that's starting to move. So anything that looks black, it's not. Even if I turn the phone, you can kind of see like this right here. Yeah, that's not black right up there. That's the teeth, sh the tooth shifting. Same on this side. Yeah, this is plaque like I pointed out. But that little black looking spot that you see like right between them and even here, that's their, their gaps. And I know that because if I push my tongue up against the back of my teeth, um, it, you can see my tongue through it. That's how I know that it's, um, a gap forming. So again, everything is going really, really well. No, we're not at perfect because we're not at the end of treatment. Um, but they are moving exactly the way that he wanted them, that wanted them to, um, he said that I'm doing a fantastic job with sticking to the plan and everything like that. Um, all of my teeth are tracking, even that one, this one that I thought was, I was like, oh my God, it's not tracking. What are we going to do? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, he said that that can happen over the course of like one or two trays. And as long as it's not a huge gap and as long as it rectifies itself, sometimes it's just the way that the trays are made, making room for that, for that tooth or teeth, if it's more than one to move the way that they need to. So I just wanted to give you guys an update and show you what's going on in my mouth with the trays out again. Um, when I did my first video, it was the day before treatment. Second video was the day that I got them on Third video, I think, was like a week or two, something like that in. I don't really remember. Um, now, <coughs> excuse me. Every time I do this, I feel like I have to clear my throat a million times. Again, we are officially two months into treatment out of an estimated 12 to 18. So we're nowhere near the finish line, but I'm extremely happy and satisfied with the results. I just wanted to add one quick thing in um, that I recently found out in an Invisalign group that I'm in on Facebook. As of January 1st of this year, 2023, now I signed the paperwork in November of 2022. Back then, I told you guys I got the comprehensive plan, which means that I am covered for five years, unlimited treatment, no matter how many, um, where's the word, refinement trays I need. No matter what I want him to do cosmetically to my teeth, I am covered. I found out that as of January 1st of 2023, they no longer, Invisalign, no longer offers that five-year comprehensive plan that covers everything. I don't have the information in front of me, but it's something like you have to choose between one of two comprehensive plans and one of them, it, I believe, covers you for three years and it's as many refinements as they consider necessary, which I don't really like, but whatever. I don't really remember what the other one is. And I also found out that apparently the prices have skyrocketed. Um, literally from December to January, like the, the prices went up a lot. So... I apologize to those of you who have not yet embarked on this journey if you're planning on doing it, but I wanted to let you know that the five-year comprehensive plan that I am on and got on, luckily for me, in 2022 is no longer a thing. Don't panic. There are still comprehensive plans. They're just, to my understanding, not necessarily unlimited. I would recommend if you're looking into it, Talk to your orthodontist and find out from them if in their eyes they'll give you as many refinements as you want slash need. Um, but don't just go to one ortho and decide to sign the paper. Shop around because another thing that I'm learning from having been in this Invisalign group on Facebook is that the orthodontist, <coughs> excuse me, or dentist that you choose really matters. Like some people are really getting screwed out of their money or um, they're going in on the comprehensive plan and orthodontists, and it's very common, like once their treatment, I'm sorry, once their payment plan ends, 
the orthodontist will just be like, oh, your teeth look great. We're going to be done. And then um, I'm not saying that it's every orthodontist or every dentist by any means. I'm not saying that. But there are people that I have met, come across posting, whatever, that once they get once their uh, payment plan is taken care of and everything's paid for, the orthodontist is like, your teeth look good. They show pictures of their teeth and it's not that they look awful, but they're not perfect and not where I would want them. And then they have to fight with the orthodontist and Invisalign and it's like a whole thing. So do your research. If you're going to sign up for it, ask about what the two plans are. And it's not just two, like there's two comprehensive plans, but then there's Invisalign Light which I believe is for people that only have like a couple of like one or two teeth that are like barely misaligned and you only need 10 trees. Like there's a lot of different options. So just make sure to educate yourself. My recommendation would be to visit multiple orthodontists, get multiple opinions. They, based on, again, what I've seen, the price differs based on which orthodontist you go to. I got the reasonable price that I did because I got 30% off because I'm on my dentist slash orthodontist slash endodontist in-house insurance plan. If I hadn't gotten the 30% off that I did, I probably never would have gone this route. So I just wanted to fill you guys in, show you what my teeth are looking at, looking like at two months into treatment, which again, there's not that much movement, but there's definitely movement and I'm very happy. So one more time, I'm just going to show you my smile and then my teeth and then I'm going to go. That's my normal smile. So like if somebody said, you know, smile for a picture, I would like that. Still not happy. Still can see the two front teeth protruding. They don't look as bad with the trays in. That's to be expected. There's plastic there. Um, again, here's like a full... So you can, and again, I see it way more on the bottom teeth and a lot of other people have said, yeah, probably because again, I'm missing four molars on the bottom part of my mouth. I have all of my upper teeth. I think that could be why the bottoms are moving faster than the tops. Not to mention the crowding up here is way worse, especially in the front too. Um, so that's about it. I didn't want to make this too long. I just wanted to give you guys a follow up, let you know where I'm at. Um, I am perfectly happy with the way that things are going. Um, again, we're all our own worst critics. So I really see the movement, um, more so and my, my fiance can see it. Like, he's like, wow, they really have moved. Like, no, they're not where you want them to be. No, they're not straight yet, but they're getting there and they're definitely moving. And that's what you want. Um, so again, seven out of 23 trees, exactly two months in today, um, one last thing, the pain, um, I would, again, I don't even really like using the word pain, but the pressure, whatever you want to call it, definitely does get easier as you progress, at least so far for me. Trays one through three, one was by far the most painful slash uncomfortable slash tight. Um, one through three, when I put them in, it was kind of like, I was having to take Tylenol every like eight hours ish. Because it was, again, not unbearable. I wasn't in tears or anything like that. But especially one, trays one through three, taking them out was like, ow. You know what I mean? Um, now, yes, when I put a new tray in, they're tight. I do definitely feel movement in certain teeth, depending on the tray. It lasts, and this is true even with trays one through three, three, maybe four days tops is like when I really feel the the tightness and the movement. Um, on my last tray, tray number six, I did notice that like on days like seven and eight, um, I noticed pain in a lower tooth. I think it was this one right here. Um, and again, not even pain. It was like discomfort. Um, on like the last, uh, on days like seven, eight, or eight and nine out of a total of 10, more of like a, it was kind of like a come and go, but I'm guessing it was just settling into wherever it needed to settle into before I switched to tray seven, which we're on now. So it does get easier. The trays do really, honest to God, get easier to take out and put in over time. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to end it there. I don't want to keep you guys forever. There's not really that much to update other than to show you what I'm looking at and let you know that if you stay the course, 
follow what the orthodontist or your dentist says, whoever it is that's get, that's treating you. Um, you're not going to pop these things in and perfect smile in a week. It's not going to happen like that, but just stay the course and you will start to see what I'm starting to see. And at the end of this journey, hopefully, um, I'm hoping at the end of tray 23, no, even though I know I'm going to go into refinements that these two will be straight with the rest of them. So we'll see. I will touch back in at some point, probably my next appointments in March, uh, March 21st. So I may touch base then. Um, probably, yeah, cause I'll be on like tray 10 around then. Once I really start to see some substantial movement in these top two front ones, I'll check back in with you guys. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whether they're directed at me or whether you want me to ask my orthodontist when I go back and see him, leave them in the comments below and I will ask him um, like, hey, I posted a YouTube video. He knows that I'm doing this and somebody commented and wants to know this and I will not answer it until I speak to him directly. So again, thank you to everybody that's been following my journey so far. I hope that this has been helpful to at least some of you. And I will absolutely continue to keep you guys posted with my progress. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck to all of you that are already doing this. If you haven't, seriously consider it. Start saving. It's by far one of the best things I've ever done. And still, to this day, my only regret is not doing it sooner. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Had a happy new year. Um, I'm from Philly, so go Eagles because we're playing in the Patriots. Not we're not even playing the Patriots. <laughs> we're playing Kansas City in the Super Bowl on Sunday. So go Eagles, even if you're not an Eagles fan. If you're not a Kansas City fan, do me a favor and root for the Eagles. I have no idea why I just said Patriots. Probably because they've been to the Super Bowl a million times and, you know, whatever. But um, go Birds, and thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it. Have a nice day.